Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to look at the circumference of a circle. As we're looking at the circumference of a circle, what we're really looking at is the distance around the outside of our circle. And another way to think about it is, since we're talking about the distance around the outside of our circle, that could also be called the perimeter of our circle. Now there's two formulas that we're going to use depending on what we're given as far as our circle goes. In the first formula, we're going to be given a diameter of the circle. So remember, a diameter goes all the way across the middle of our circle, and the circumference formula says that we have to take the diameter of our circle times pi. For our other formula, we're going to be given a radius of our circle. And what we do is we take 2 times the radius, times pi. And what we should recognize from these formulas is that the diameter and 2 times the radius are exactly the same thing. Because a diameter goes all the way across through the middle of our circle, and our radius only goes halfway. So if we had 2 times our radius, that would take us the full way across our circle, which would be a diameter. So in this example, we're given a circle with a radius of 9 centimeters. So as we're looking at our circumference formula, since we're given a radius, I'm going to use the formula that has the radius included in it. So since we know the radius is 9, all we have to do is fill in that 9 for our r value. So we're going to take 2 times 9 times pi. Well, 2 times 9 is 18, so we have 18 times pi. Now this is called an exact answer, where we don't have any decimals on the end. But if we were to take that and type it into our calculator and get a decimal approximation, we would get 56.55 centimeters. Since we're measuring a distance, a length around the outside of the circle, we should include the label, how far this actually is. In this example, we're given a circle with a 20-foot diameter. As we're looking at finding its circumference, since we're given the diameter of our circle, we're going to look at the formula that has the diameter in it. So what we have to do is take the diameter times pi. Our diameter all the way across the middle of our circle is that 20-foot distance times pi. So that's going to be our exact answer. 20 pi is our exact answer. But then if we were to type that into our calculator, we would get 62.83 feet. Again, we need to include the label on there since we're measuring an actual distance. In this example, we're told that the circumference of our circle is 26 meters, and what we want to do is we want to work backwards to figure out what its radius length is. So here's our circumference formula. We know that our circumference is the 26 meters, so I'm going to plug that in on the left-hand side for our C value. Now we want to work on getting r all by itself because we're trying to find the radius. So I'm looking at that 2, and the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that 2 by dividing both sides. So we end up with 13 equals our radius times pi. Now we're trying to get r all by itself, so we need to get rid of that pi on the right-hand side. And pi we can treat just like any other number. So in order to get rid of multiplication, we have to divide both sides by pi. We'll need our calculator for this part, 13 divided by pi. We get about 4.14 as our radius. Now this is a distance. We're measuring how far the radius is, so we should throw a label on here. We were measuring meters, so this would be 4.14 meters for the radius length. In this example, we're told that the circumference of our circle is 30 inches. And again, we want to find its radius. So we're going to use our formula. And we're going to plug in the length of the circumference where the c value is. So we have to plug in our 30 on the left-hand side. Now we need to get r all by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we get 15 equals r times pi. And again, in order to get r all by itself, we have to divide both sides by pi. When we take 15 divided by pi, we get about 4.77. I'm going to throw my label on here right away. We were measuring this in inches. And that's the length of our radius. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.